out to Northampton to Scott Bennett Engineering. Now, there's a few gentlemen on this pit, these a uh, couple of pictures here. I wonder which one I am going to meet today. Let's have a little mooch. It's this one. Sorry, Paul. I'm not, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> this is Rob Bennett from Scott Bennett Engineering. Lovely to meet you today. Thank you. Um, Talk me through all of the machines that you've got here, because you've got a, a quite a lot of stars, haven't you? Yeah, we have. We've got um, we've got six stars now. We uh, we purchased our first one in 2010, and uh, there goes the phone. Um, and we you're busy. The phone's yeah. ringing. And we've continued to invest ever since. Very good machines for us. So you've actually made a statement previously and said by investing in star machines has made you more profitable. What what what? what talk me through why. What happened? We had a, a very skilled engineer. He was in his mid-60s and he used to run a machine called a Cam Auto. And uh, it came to a stage where he just didn't want to do it anymore, which is fair enough. Yeah. It left me in a position because they were, they were running, they were running on customers' orders. And I always remember a star sales rep used to come in and say, I can replace those for you. One star will replace three of those. Well, when this engineer walked out, I had to test him. And he came in, he, uh, he put one star in, I got rid of three Cam Autos. And the rest, as they say, is history. We've, uh, we've now got six stars, no cam autos. So. And, and over the time, because it's, it's, it's quite a nice story, really. You know, it's, it shows that persistence is key at the end of the day. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at all of these machines here. Surely over time, it's like a car. You might have something go wrong with it here and there. Uh, how, how staff been for service? Yeah, they've been very good. Uh, service and support, I, I can't fault them. They do go wrong, all machines go wrong. But I must say, they don't go wrong very often. They've been very good for us. Yeah, that's a, that's a really, really good. Now, what, what's the future for Star and your relationship with them? As, as you can probably see, Lindsay, we're pretty crammed in here. Um, I haven't got much room left. I do have one older Star, um, older sliding head, that I may need to replace. And if I do, I'll go knocking on Star's door. Okay, and what's your latest purchase then? Because it's not even been that long since you've, you've bought another Star. No, we had a really good deal, actually. Star offered me a a part exchange deal and uh, they took away an old KMX Mannering machine that we'd had for 21 years. It was costing a lot to maintain, um, spare parts were becoming obsolete. I knew that it was taking up too much money, time to go. Uh, I made the decision to replace it with a SR20J supplied by Star and uh, the old machine went out on the Monday, the Star came in on Tuesday, we were up and running on the Friday, so great. That's less than one week, yeah, you know, that's less. The thing is, I find also, if you, say you're buying a car, as an example, and if someone does a part exchange, they're just taking the hassle out of it for you. Yeah, they are. You might get a bit more if you sell it privately, but it's the pain and the hassle of doing that that we knew it was going out, had a new machine coming in, all done, sorted within a week. So you've got only good to say about stuff. Yeah, they've been good for us. Yeah, very good partner for us. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Rob. No problem.